believe like I believe that the party bosses shouldn't pick the candidates. It should be the people. Gatewood, here's you throwing your hat back in the ring. Now, I'm probably going to run over, so I want you to stand up a little bit so I can see you there, because I can't even say hello for five minutes. Now, I also want to give one more shout out to the hillbillyreport.org. If you want to know everything that's wrong with Mitch McConnell, you guys need to check it out. And for the national media out there, too, please check out our good friend Jim Pence. I told you to say in the truck. One thing I want to talk about, I've actually been the placeholder here since December, and the national media has kind of forgot about that, but that's what happens when you're a grassroots candidate. You don't have money. You don't have a machine behind you. But let me tell you, Miss McCollum's going to probably raise 20 or $30 million to tell lies about Miss Allison Lunderkin Grimes, but I hope she raises 20 to $30 million to tell the truth about Mitch. Now, a lot of people know that you can't buy Ed Marksbury, but you can buy Mitch. Mitch says that he's been working for Kentucky. Now, Matt, if that's what you call working for Kentucky, we want him to stop. Now, a lot of people want to call Mitch the Turtle Man, and that's disrespectful to the good Turtle Man we have here in Kentucky. I'm a big fan of the Turtle Man, and I'm sure you are too. All right, no ice cream for you when you get home. Now, let me tell you something about Mitch. Everybody makes fun of his looks. They talk about his chin. He doesn't have a chin. Well, he used to. If you remember back when he first was a judge executive in Louisville, he had a chin as big as Jay Leno. But he suffers what I like to call the rump of corporate at least kiss me -itis. Now, let me explain what rump of corporate at least kiss me -itis is, and I'll spell that for the media later. That's when after years of kissing the butts of the corporate at least, you just rub your chin right off. <laughs> Now, we got to actually talk about a little bit about what Mitch's legacy is. Mitch likes to obstruct. The state seal of Kentucky has two great front, one's a great frontiersman, Daniel Boone. The other one's Henry Clay, who was a great compromiser. But we know what Mitch is going to be known as. He's going to be the great obstructionizer. And I'm going to add something to you, Rand Paul, Senator. He's what I call the grand disillusionist. I think you know it's funny. Let me tell you one more thing about Mitch. He sold his soul. How many minutes I got? All right, we'll quicken this up. Mitch has sold his soul to the corporate elite. I'm going to give my soul to the middle class families that work hard in the country. Mitch has sold himself to the pharmaceutical companies out there, well, I'm going to give my soul to senior citizens that can't afford their prescription drugs because of Mitch. I'm going to tell you one more thing about Mitch. You're right. He sold his soul to the Wall Street bankers that caused this big recession, not Obama. I'm going to give my soul to those college students that are overburdened with the high cost of going to college and with their debts. And I'm about done. I got one minute. Well, I'd like to talk about my website. It's marksbury2014.com. When I was running, we couldn't get any traction with the media and whatnot, and even the, our party leaders. So I came out with a song called What About Us? I'd love it if you would go to that website and just click on What About Us. It'll tell you a lot about what it is good to be about a Democrat because about 2,000 years ago, there was another person that taught us what Democrats are. We believe in taking care of the elderly, the orphans, and also those that are poor. And he said to go out there and visit those in prison. And one more thing, he didn't charge a dime to heal you. Thank you. God bless. Marksbury2014.com. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Drive safely on the way home. 
buy some barbecues, spend some money, and make plans to be here next year. Thanks a lot. You will in a minute. A great Fancy Farm picnic here. Fancy Farm 2013. Bill Goodman along with Renee Shaw and some special guests to wrap it up this afternoon. Farrell Wellman did a great job of...